guys, it's Trainer Liam here. Hope you're having a wonderful day. Welcome to the season finale for a bit of Form 5. What was that? Oh no! Season finale? What does that mean? All it means is that as of today, I've done the 10 Form Fights that I wanted to do regarding the Isle of Armor, regarding the Crown Tundra, and until Pokemon make new forms, Form Fight will just be on a little bit of rest, which is nice because it means I don't get burnt out. It means you guys still get Form Fight from time to time. Like I'll pop in Beedrill at some point somewhere. Maybe. Maybe. But much like Pokemon like Breloom and Am for us, it's just taking a little holiday until Pokemon decide, hey, here's some more new stuff. But anyway, Form Fight is a series where we take a look at a Pokemon with more than one form or a branched evolution or counterpart Pokemon. Like this episode, we have a look at the differences between the Pokemon in question and we try and work out which one is the best. And we also have a metronome battle that does not determine who is the winner or the best or not. It's just for a little bit of fun so we can see them doing stupid moves on the battlefield. If you're a fan of Form Fight and you're ready for more and you're excited for more Form Fights to come at some point in the future when Pokemon give us some new forms, hit the like button, hit the subscribe button if you're new so you never miss any of the content on my channel. And with all that out the way, let's have a look at today's challenges. Today on Form Fight, we're going to be looking at the five legendary titans, Regirock, Regice, Registeel, Regieleki, and Regidrago. Yes, that's Drago and not Draco, you illiterate fucks and their master, Regigigas. Now, if you're playing Pokemon Sword and Shield, these Pokemon can be found in various parts of the Crown Tundra. Regirock can be found in the Rock Peak Ruins. Regice can be found in the Iceberg Ruins. Registeel can be found in the Iron Ruins. Regilecki and Regidrago can be found in the Split Decision Ruins, but you have to choose which one you want to encounter by creating the face pattern of your intended target on the ground. Also, side note, make sure you save before you do the pattern on the ground, because if you bugger it up and get the encounter that you didn't want, you can't reset the pattern with without closing the game and reopening it. And finally, Regigigas can be found by bringing Regirock, Regice, Registeel, Regilecki, and Regidrago, so you'll have to borrow one of those last two from a friend, to an unused raid den in the giant's bed. Another side note, when you fight Regigigas, it will be a level 100 max raid battle, but according to Cerebi, its moves are Giga Impact, Zen Headbutt, Hammer Arm, and Crush Grip, so if you make your lead Pokemon Sableye or Spiritomb, it shouldn't be able to touch you. Lol. But what makes these six Reggie thingamabobs so different? Let's take a look. According to the Pokedex, Regirock stands at 1.7 meters tall and weighs 230 kilograms. Its Pokedex information says every bit of Regirock's body is made of stone. As parts of its body erode, this Pokemon sticks rock to itself to repair what's been lost. Cutting edge technology was used to study the internals of this Pokemon's rock body, but nothing was found, not even a brain or a heart. Regice stands at 1.8 meters tall and weighs 175 kilograms. Its Pokedex data says with cold air that can reach temperatures as low as minus minus 328 degrees Fahrenheit, Regice instantly freezes any creature that approaches it. This Pokemon's body is made of solid ice. It's said that Regice was born beneath thick ice in the Ice Age. Say ice again, I dare you. Registeel is 1.9 meters tall and weighs 205 kilograms. Its Pokedex entry says Registeel's body is made up of a strange material that is flexible enough to stretch and shrink, but also more durable than any metal. It's rumored that this Pokemon was born deep underground in the planet's mantle, and that it emerged onto the surface 10,000 years ago. Regigigas is 3.7 meters tall and weighs 420 blazic kilograms. According to its Pokedex entries, which don't exist in Generation 7, seven or eight, so we had to go all the way back to Omega Ruby Alpha Sapphire for this, it's said to have made Pokemon that look like itself from a special ice mountain, rocks, and magma. There is an enduring legend that states this Pokemon towed continents with ropes. Regilecki is 1.2 meters tall and weighs 145 kilograms. Its Pokedex information says this Pokemon is a cluster of electrical energy. It's said that removing the rings on Regilecki's body can unleash the Pokemon's latent power. Its entire body is made up of a single organ that generates electrical energy. Regilecki is capable of creating all Galar's electricity. Which is a weird sentence because Galar already has electricity now, so has that not already been done? So shouldn't it be Regilecki is responsible for creating all of Galar's electricity? Answers on a postcard. And finally, Reggie Drago is 2.1 meters tall and weighs 200 kilograms on the dot. Its Pokedex entry says an academic theory proposes that Reggie Drago's arms were once the head of an ancient dragon Pokemon. The theory remains unproven. Its body is composed of crystallized dragon energy. Reggie Drago is said to have the powers of every dragon Pokemon. Appearance wise, each of the pre generation 8 Reggies are tall humanoid titans, albeit without defined heads, with Regirock having a rocky, boulder like appearance, Regice having 
having a body like a thick block of ice, Reggie Steele looking very robotic, and Reggie Gigas having a white body with black markings, a golden face, cuffs and shoulder pads, with bushy foliage growing from its feet and shoulders. Reggie Lecky and Reggie Drago simply look like floating orbs, with Reggie Lecky being yellow and having electricity pulsing out of its arms and feet, with blue rings on its shoulders and lower body to seal it, and Reggie Drago being red and black with huge parts of a dragon's head where its arms would be. They also have a pattern of dots that serve as their face, each pattern unique of course to each Reggie. In their shiny forms, Reggie Rock turns to a darker brown, Reg Ice turns to a very, 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 very slightly, very slightly brighter blue, Reggie Steel turns to a green colour like that of oxidised copper, Reggie Gigas takes on a light blue tint and its yellow areas turn blue, Reggie Lecky's blue bands turn white, and Reggie Drago's black areas turn to a more bluish colour. Now let's have a look at their typing, weaknesses and resistances. Firstly, Reggie Rock is a pure rock type Pokemon, which makes it weak to fighting, ground, steel, water and grass type attacks. It resists normal, flying, poison and fire type moves and has no immunities. Reg Ice is a pure ice type Pokemon, which makes it weak to fighting, rock, steel and fire type moves. It resists only ice type attacks and again has no immunities. Reggie Steel is a pure steel type Pokemon, Kel Surprise, which is weak to fighting, ground and fire type moves. It resists normal, flying, rock, bug, steel, grass, psychic, ice, dragon, and fairy type attacks, and is completely immune to poison type moves. Regigigas is a pure normal type Pokemon, which makes it weak to only fighting type moves. It has no resistances, but is immune to ghost type attacks. Up next, Regieleki is a pure electric type Pokemon, making it weak to only ground type moves. It resists flying, steel, and electric type attacks, and has no immunities. And finally, Regidrago is a pure dragon type Pokemon, which makes it weak to ice, dragon, and fairy type attacks. It resists fire, water, grass and electric type moves and again has no immunities. Now let's have a look at the stats and abilities of these goddamn Regis. Reggie Rock is a bulky Pokemon, rocking, rocking, I love that I've written that down in the script, beautiful. Reggie Rock is a bulky Pokemon, rocking decent HP, excellent physical attack and special defense and a huge base 200 physical defense stat. Its special attack and speed are rubbish but with defenses like this it doesn't really need them. Its primary ability is clear body which prevents opponents from lowering Regirock's stats. This is obviously very useful since you don't want Regirock losing any firepower or any of its fantastic defensive capabilities. Its hidden ability is Sturdy, which lets Regirock survive with one hit point if it's hit whilst having full HP with a move that would have knocked it out in a single blow. This is excellent for giving Regirock a little more staying power, but if it's against a physical opponent, it's unlikely to see this ability activate. As for Reg Ice, it has the same base stats as Regirock, except this time its physical attack is garbage, its special attack and physical defense are great and its special defense is the whopping 200 base power, giving it effectively the same role as Regirock, just in a special sense rather than physical. Its primary ability is Clear Body, which we've already mentioned, and its hidden ability is Ice Body, which restores 1 16th of Regice's HP at the end of each turn when Hail is in effect. With the bulk that Regice has, this isn't a massive game changer, I guess, unless you couple it up with like leftovers or something, and sadly it does require Regice or an ally to take a turn setting up the Hail. Registeel breaks the stat mold of its Rock and Ice brethren evenly distributing its attack stats and its defensive stats, settling for average attack and special attack rather than one great and one garbage, but still boasting a whopping 150 base defense and special defense, making it super bulky, especially with its 10 resistances and one immunity. Its primary ability once again is clear body, which we've covered, and its hidden ability is light metal, which halves the weight of Registeel. This allows it to take less damage from moves like grass knot and more importantly low kick, although it does mean that Registeel's heavy slam will potentially deal less damage. Reggie Gigas, being the master of the Titans, has much higher base stats than the rest, boasting above average special attack, excellent speed, HP defense and special defense, and a massive 160 base physical attack, meaning this thing has full and can hit like a truck. That being said, its only ability is Slow Start, which halves Reggie Gigas attack and speed for the first five turns it's on the field. So unless you plan to take a risk and skill swap this to an opponent via an ally, this ability is more of a hindrance than anything. Moving on to Reggie Lecky, it follows the same stat pattern as Regice and Regirock, this time having decent HP, excellent physical and special attack, garbage
damage, defense, and special defense, and the huge base 200 stat is its speed stat this time, making it the fastest Pokemon currently in existence. Its only ability is Transistor, which boosts the power of Regilecki's Electric-type moves by 50%, which has the obvious advantage of giving increased firepower on moves that it already gets same type attack bonus from. And coupled with this Pokemon basically always moving first if no priority moves are in play, this can be very, very deadly. And finally, Regidrago has the exact same stats as Regilecki, except its HP and speed are switched, giving it decent speed but incredible HP, adding a decent amount of bulk to this Pokemon, although granted its defenses are still terrible. Regidrago's only ability is Dragon's Maw, which boosts the power of Regidrago's Dragon type moves by 50%. Much like with Regilecki, this is excellent for getting increased firepower from same type attack bonus moves. Now it's time for me to decide which of the Regis is my favorite, and this is super easy for me. I love Regilecki. I think it's brilliant. It's the fastest Pokemon in existence. It's got a great typing because pure electric types are great Pokemon overall. And I think it looks really cool. Like, to me, it looks like a better version of what Rotom was probably meant to be back in the day. So as fragile as it is, as rubbish to battle with, it probably will end up being because I don't tend to be good judges of competitive stuff. Regilecki, easy peasy. I love it. I think it's great. But of course, it's not just up to me to decide which is my favorite. It's up to you guys to decide which is your favorite. But before we do that, we're going to have a look at these Pokemon on the battlefield doing moves they couldn't normally do. We're having ourselves a couple of metronome battles. Now, these aren't serious. These battles don't determine which Pokemon is the strongest or any of that bollocks. It never has on Form Fight. I've never claimed that that's a thing. But some of y'all, like 140 episodes in, are still thinking that the battles matter. They don't. They're just for fun. So what we're going to do is we're going to start off with a little free-for-all between Regirock, Reg Regice, Registeel, and Regigigas, because they're the pre-Gen 8 Regis. After that, we're going to have the usual kind of form fight double battle between Regilecki and Regidrago. And then after that, whoever won each of those two battles is just going to go one-on-one -on -one as well, just for a little bit of fun. Again, it's not a tournament. If you like tournaments, go and watch Metromania. That is an actual metronome battle tournament. It's bloody great. Go and watch it. I love Metromania, and I wish more of you form fight loyalists would go and watch Metromania. It's far better. I love that series. As always, I will point out the Pokemon in these battles have max IVs and all stats, zero EVs and all stats. They're all holding Leather Berries and they've all got neutral natures. The only advantage or disadvantage any of these Pokemon are going to get comes from their typing and their base stats. And remember, the first battle is a free-for-all, so it's free-for-all rules. Basically, last Pokemon standing is the winner, but the winner doesn't really matter. We just want to have fun. And last but certainly not least, don't forget to use code ACE for money off G Fuel. Thank you to everyone that uses code ACE. You are lovely. It helps out the channel massively and gets you discount on arguably the best drink I've ever consumed in my life. Consume with me. Use code ACE. <sighs> Nemesis tea, still my favorite flavor of all time. Use code ACE, get yourself some money off. But with all that out of the way, let's get into these bloody lovely metronome battles. Let's go. And here we are with the Reggies. We've had a lot of people asking about the Reggies since Four Fights inception. And now we get to do six Regis at once. I'm a little bit glad that I waited till Crown Tundra. Now remember, at the start of this free-for-all, so it's all against all here, Regigigas has got slow start, which means it will have halved attack and speed for the first five turns, poor lad. Shift gear, though, from the Steel-type Regi Steel. And if you're not familiar with... Um, free-for-all rules, head over to Pokemon Free-for-Alls, the YouTube channel where all of uh, Duncan Can't Die's free-for-alls are going to be from now on. Go subscribe to Pokemon Free-for-Alls. Here we go, though. Here's Reggie Rock with Anchor Shot, which is beautiful. One of my favorite little animations in Sordo and Shield, though. Look at it. Barely any damage, though, to Registeel, who can no longer escape, escape but he's not going to escape anyway. Now, for those not understanding Free-for-Alls and basically being like, but they're both on teams. Not really. They can hit each other, technically, if they use spread moves. It's so whether they choose to or not. That Leaf Storm, though, doing massive damage to Reggie Rock, but also dropping Regigigas' special attack by two stages, and with it not having its full attack stat yet, that's a big problem for Regigigas. Here's Reggie Steel, though. What's it going to do here? Going to go for Burn Up, but it doesn't have the fire typing, so it can't use Burn Up. Now it's over to Regirock once again, who's going to go for Avalanche, an ice type move. Everybody's using each other's types right now. It's bizarre. There's a bit, I'm going to say, it's a little nice bit of chip damage there. A little bit of nice chip damage to Registeel there. I was going to say it's not a great deal, but oh, Reg Ice using Crush Grip on Registeel. Not very effective. Registeel, of course, has 10 resistances and only, uh, and only, and as well has one immunity, which is poison. Here's no retreat from Regigigas. It knows it can't get out of the battle anyway, so it's going to increase its attack, its uh, defense, its special attack, its special defense, and its speed stat by one stage apiece, which is 
is going to help it even more when the uh, when the slow start wears off. But Regigigas is prepping for the future. And now it's only at minus one special attack. Do bear that in mind. Here's Registeel, though, starting off the next turn, of course. It's going for Acid. Remember, Registeel is at plus two speed and plus one attack, I believe. And now we see uh, barely any damage there with that Acid, but needs must. Here's Regigigas, though, who's going to go for Zap Cannon. Shades of all the other Regis, to be fair. Does miss, though, unfortunately. Now Reg Ice is going to go for Rock Polish and increase its own speed by two stages. Everybody wants to be the fastest right now. That seems to be the, the way forward right now. Everybody's going for the speed. Here's Reggie Rock, though, who hasn't increased his speed yet. Going for Snipe Shot, which would have been super effective on itself. It's going to do some neutral damage to Registeel there, but not a great deal at all. That's a shame. Didn't even get the crit off that Snipe Shot. That is very, very unfortunate. I mean, it's fortunate for Registeel, though, who does start off the next turn as well. And Registeel is going to go for Fire Spin onto which of its opponents there? Onto Reg Ice, which is going to do continual fire type damage. Not, well, not fire type, just continual damage at the end of each turn. It doesn't have a specific type, I believe. Here's Grass Knot, though, from Reg Ice onto Registeel there. But not a great deal of damage done at all, again, because of the mass amount of resistances that it has. Here's Regigigas going for Air Slash, avoided by Regirock. That's unfortunate. Regigigas is really struggling, even with Slow Start. It's struggling just in general. Sing is avoided by Regigigas, and that ends the turn. Reg Ice taking a little bit of that Fire Spin damage. This could go either way right now. My money is not on Reggie Rock though, since it has very, very low HP compared to everybody else. Here's Reg Ice though, who is going to go for Luster Purge onto which of its opponents there? Onto Reggie Gigas there. Let's see how much damage that does. Reggie Gigas certainly has a lot of bulk compared to some of the Pokemon in this field. Well, more all round bulk, I suppose. Because uh, obviously, uh, Reggie Rock and Reg Ice have the special. And actually, do you know what? That's balls. Because um, Reggie Steel has base 150 in both defenses. So Regigigas doesn't have that much bulk in comparison, but it's a better all-rounder, I suppose. Endeavor doesn't affect Regice because Regice already has less HP, I believe, than Regigigas. Here's Whirlwind, which is going to fail from Regirock, and there's Regice taking that fire spin damage at the end of that turn once again. Regigigas is now at full speed and full attack, by the way. And remember, it also has plus one speed and plus one attack from that no retreat earlier. So Regigigas is about to get mean. It's going to go for Wonder Room, though, which switches defense and special defense stats i believe if the if i'm to be believed yes it is there we go so everyone's defense so basically regirock now has the stats of regice and regice now has the stats of regirock technically here's iron head from regice onto uh, regigigas barely any damage at all there now it's over to registeel though and registeel's gonna go for spatial ren shades of palkia here here we see who's it gonna land on it's on regice and it does a decent chunk of damage there, bringing Regice down to less than half its max HP. Now it's Regirock's turn, and it's going to go for Disable, which is going to absolutely cripple Regigigas there, because now Regigigas is not only going to not be able to use Metronome... Oh, it's the end of this turn anyway. Never mind that. But there's the Fire Spin damage on Regice. I was going to say Regigigas wouldn't be able to use Metronome this turn, but it's already moved. But now it can't use Metronome at all. It has to struggle until that Disable wears off. Which does a decent chunk of damage to Regice, but 25% of Regigigas' max HP in damage to itself. Recoil damage. Here we see Registeel with Dragon Breath onto which of the opposing Pokemon? Onto Regice there. Not quite enough to take it down though. Regice survives on a single hit point. What's it going to do while it's still on the field? Going to go for Prismatic Laser, which is uh, Necrozma's signature move. Onto Regigigas there. Massive damage and down goes Regigigas. Never mind the struggling. Down it goes. Critical hit off that Prismatic Laser. Wow. And now Regice will be vulnerable because it does need to uh, recharge next turn. Here's Regirock with Yawn. Onto Registeel. My word. If this battle does end and there's no definitive winner. Oh, it doesn't matter actually. I was <laughs> Mate, this game. Right, Regice is down because of the fire spin damage. I was going to say if like Regice and Regirock were a winning team, I'd just have them go one on one to determine like an actual winner. Not that the winners matter. Please don't take it too seriously. You guys suck the fun out of form fight when you take it dead seriously and think the battle mean something. Here's no retreat from Reggie Steel, increasing its attack, defense, special attack, special defense, and speed by one stage apiece. Shades of what we saw earlier from Reggie Gigas, but the, the Metro battles are just to see these Pokemon doing stupid stuff. That's all we want. Like Reggie's using Struggle Bug and uh, no retreat, you know, that kind of stuff. Struggle Bug isn't going to do much, but it is going to lower Reggie Steel's... Oh, oh no, of course not. Clear Body. Clear Body means that no stats can be lowered. Registeel is fast asleep, though, now, thanks to the Yawn. 
I almost forgot that clear body was a thing after talking about it three times. To be fair, two of those times were very brief. Here's Regirock, though, taking advantage of the fact that Registeel is a sitting duck fast asleep. Goes for heal pulse, though. That is the opposite of taking advantage. If anything, that's helping him out. You're going to restore Registeel's HP back up to maximum. Uh, heal pulse normally restores 50% of max HP, but Registeel already had over 50% of its HP still remaining. It's woken up, though, and now it's going to use Volt Tackle. Here we go. Volt Tackle onto Regirock. Massive damage, and down goes Regirock. Registeel wins the four-way free-for-all. That was wonderful stuff from Regirock. Great wake-up moment. And here we are with the brand new Regis. We have Reggie Lecky versus Reggie Drago. Mono e mono in a lovely classic form fight double metrono battle. Here we go. Look how bouncy those Reggie Leckies are. Let's get this done, boys and girls and everything in between. Uh, Reggie Lecky, of course, is going to have the transistor ability. That's his only ability. Uh, Reggie Drago oh, avoids the uh, hypnosis there. He's going to have dragons more. Obviously, that's its only ability. So watch out for dragon type moves from Reggie Drago and watch out for electric type moves from Reggie Lecky. Shiny Reggie Lecky using no retreat on the first turn. No retreat, very popular today. Increasing its attack, defense, special attack, special defense, and speed by one stage apiece as if it needed to be any faster. Of course, it can't escape, but there's no escaping in these battles anyway. Over to Shiny Reggie Drago, who's going to go for Scorching Sands, which I believe will be super effective as a ground-type move there. Huge damage to the very fragile Shiny Reggie Lecky there. Now over to the regular Reggie Drago, who's going to go for Dragon Darts, which is going to be increased in power by Dragons more. There's one hit on Shiny Reggie Lecky. The other hit will land on regular Reggie Lecky for massive damage there. Both Regilecki already in trouble because they're just so, so fragile. The Reggie Drago team haven't taken any damage yet at all. Shiny Regilecki going to start off the next turn, though, and it's going to go for Trop Kick, which is a grass-type move, which will be very effective on the regular Reggie Drago there, but does drop its attack by uh, one stage. So, you know, it, it is what it is, I suppose. That, that's that's helpful. Uh, and then the Solar Beam from regular Reggie Lecky there. So it's going to absorb light this turn and attack on the next turn with a not very effective here. It's not looking good for Reggie Lecky, is it? Let's face it. Here's regular Reggie Drago with a Shadow Bone. Which opponents are going to be on? It's on the regular Reggie Lecky there, bringing it into the danger zone on turn number two. And here is the shiny Reggie Lecky going for Mist. I mean, that's absolutely fair, you know. So no stat lowering for the time being, at least. But the Regilecki team need to bust out some offensive moves. We know Solar Beam's coming from regular Regilecki on the next turn. But what's going to happen after that? Here's the shiny Regilecki, who is going to go for Water Gun, which is not very effective on the shiny Regidrago there for a little bit of chip damage. Here comes the not very effective Solar Beam from the regular Regilecki onto that uh, regular Regidrago for barely any damage there. That's very unfortunate for the Reggie Lecky team. They really can't get out of the gate. And here's the regular Reggie Drago going for Triple Axel, which is an ice-type move. It's going to do three hits, one critical hit onto the Shiny Reggie Lecky. There's the second hit, and the third hit takes down Shiny Reggie Lecky. There's only one Reggie Lecky left, and it has barely any HP left as well. Very sad times for poor little Reggie Lecky. Here's the shiny Reggie Drago going for Jaw Lock, which is a move Reggie Drago. If it doesn't get, it should get, because it just makes sense. Down goes Reggie Lecky. What did you expect? It's super fragile. There's there's your winner. It's the Reggie Drago team. So now, just for a laugh, we're going to have Reggie Steel versus Reggie Drago. And ain't that going to be fun? So here we go. It's Reggie Steele versus Reggie Drago. Who saw it coming? I, I did because I watched the other two battles and I inferred from everything that Liam said that this is what was going to happen next. So well done to me for listening to myself. And here we see Reggie Drago, regular Reggie Drago, starting things off for its team with a tail whip. It doesn't work because of clear body. So over to shiny Reggie Drago, who's going to fire off a Purify, and that's also going to fail. So that's a wasted first turn by uh, the Reggie Drago team. Here's shiny Registeel with a substitute. Not a bad play at all there. Going to lower its HP, create a substitute, hide behind that with all of those beautiful resistances. And now over to regular Registeel. And regular Registeel is going to go for sheer cold. Wants to end this early, but it's avoided, of course. 30% accuracy is uh, sometimes a hindrance. Not always a blessing, is it? Over to regular Reggie Drago, though, to start off the next turn. 
and it's going to go for Conversion 2, which is a very interesting play right there. What was the last move? Substitute. So uh, there's the ghost typing. Uh, it, it is, so re regular Reggie Drago is now a ghost type. And another Conversion 2 from Shiny Reggie Drago. What was the last move used? Nobody remembers. There's the there's water, because why not? So now we have a water type Reggie Drago and a normal type Reggie Drago. Here's Dragon Claw from Registeel onto, which would have been super effective, onto the shiny Reggie Drago, but now just a crit, just a regular old crit, but neutral damage. Here's shiny Registeel going for the uh, the metronome there. Shiny Registeel is going to fire off a scale shot, which again would have been super effective as a dragon type move, but I, I guess I'm not going to make fun of the two conversion twos. There's two hits. How many hits do we get with it? There's three hits. Just the three hits there with the scale shot. Going to lower the defense by one stage of Shiny Red Steel and increase the speed, which is a little bit scary there. As we move in to the next turn, so just remember, the blue Regilecki... No, the blue Regidrago, I should say, is a water type. And the uh, the, the red and black uh, Regidrago is now a ghost type. Remember that. Here's a water type Razor Shell from Shiny Registeel onto which of the Regilecki... Uh, I keep saying Regilecki. Onto which of the Regidrago? Onto the ghost type one. Didn't get a defense drop there. I believe that's what happens with Razor Shell 50% of the time. Here's Withdraw though from regular Regidrago increasing its defense by one stage. Not a bad play at all. And now we see a shiny Reggie Drago getting itself prepared. What is it going to do here? Going to go for no retreat. We've seen it so much today. No retreat. Attack, defense, special attack, special defense, and speed. All up one stage apiece on shiny Reggie Drago. So keep note of that. Because that could be important, I suppose. It might not be. M nothing might come of it. But it's always nice to keep track of the stat changes, you know. I don't always. Is Darkest Lariat, though, from regular Registeel onto which of the Reggie Drago there? Onto the Ghost Type one, so it's super effective. Big damage, bringing regular Reggie Drago down to less than half its max HP. And it's not looking good for the Ghost Type Reggie Drago right now, definitely. Here is the shiny Water Type Reggie Drago going for Sucker Punch, but that's going to fail. It always fails in Metronome Battles. And now it's over to shiny Registeel steal for the follow-up what's it gonna do it's going to choose disable which is so cruel disable onto which reg drago there onto the ghost type reg drago so ghost type reg drago until disable ends it's gonna have to do 25 percent recoil damage off a struggle at the end of each turn there it doesn't even get to move this turn because it's uh metronome is disabled uh blue flare from regular registeel there and that's going to land on the shiny Regidrago, which is currently a water type resistor. It would have resisted it if it was a dragon type anyway. So no big concern there. No real love lost between shiny Regidrago and uh, the regular Registeel there. Shiny Regidrago, shiny Regidrago, if I could get my words out, goes for muddy water, which I don't think will be enough to break that substitute, but it could do, I suppose. It has got that. It did have a no retreat increase, didn't it? I don't know. Which one used no retreat? Can you remember? I think it was the shiny. Uh, you're supposed to be keeping track of that. Remember when you said that? The substitute did fade, though, and here's a shadow punch from shiny Registeel onto the ghost type Regidrago right there, bringing it down into the danger zone. It's got no moves left, so it's forced to struggle, and it's definitely got less than 25% of its max HP left, so it is going to succumb and faint to its own recoil damage there because that disable just had not ended yet. Here we see the regular Registeel going for Tar Shot. So that's going to cause, I believe that will now cause, it obviously lowers the speed of Shiny Regidrago, but will now cause it to take neutral damage from fire type moves because it makes it weaker to fire. And if it wasn't weak to fire, it now would be. But because it was resistant to fire, I believe that means it now takes neutral damage. I believe that's how Tar Shot works in that case. Self-destruct from Shiny Registeel though. That is going to do significant damage, you would imagine. I didn't actually do that much, did it, to Shiny Registrago? Not a lot at all. And of course, regular Registeel resists it, so it didn't do much damage at all to regular Registeel. Now we've got Registrago's Shiny, the water type, for some reason. Going for Bind. That's not a terrible play. Against a Pokemon that has so many resistances like Registeel, if you can get guaranteed damage at the end of each turn, that's not a bad shout at all. So over to Registeel to see what its follow-up is. It's going to go for Poison Jab. Maybe hoping to put a timer on Regidrago of its own. Not a lot of damage. Didn't get the poison either. And there's the bind damage taking effect. Bringing Registeel down to less than half its max HP. And now this battle could go either way. 
You've got to give the edge to uh, Registeel because of its resistances, but then Registrago does have that no retreat boost. Goes for Horn Drill. It wanted to end it right then and there, but unfortunately, 30% accuracy is not our friend. Here we see Shell Sidearm, another poison type move from the regular Registeel there on the shiny Registrago. Does it get the poison? It does not get the poison, but there's more bind damage once again on that Registeel. It really needs to do something. It's got to pull out the big guns to take out Registrago because that bind is slowly wearing away at that Registeel. Here's Shiny Registrago with Endeavor, but Registeel actually has less HP, I believe, than Regi... Oh, of course it does. Registrago has base 200 HP, so it's always going to have higher HP at this stage. Here's a Noble Roar, which is going to drop the attack and special attack back down to normal for the Shiny Registrago. Drago there, no longer at plus one. More bind damage though, that's not good at all, and you hear it, you might not see it, but you hear it. That is Registeel in the danger zone right now. Shiny Registrago has an opportunity to end this right now if it wants to. Gonna go for Ingrain, and gonna guarantee that it uh, gets its HP restored at the end of each turn, if it survives the turn. That's the worry there. Over to Registeel, who now has an opportunity to take out that Registrago, goes for Entrainment, and is putting clear body onto Regidrago, which I don't understand because now you've just guaranteed you can't lower its stats anymore. And there it is, restoring HP. And there's the bind damage, which is that going to be enough to take down Registeel or is this battle going to continue? It's going to continue, but Registeel is in a dangerous position right now. What's Regidrago going to do here? Regidrago is going to go for Volt Tackle, which is how Registeel won the battle earlier. Great stuff. Is that enough? It takes down Registeel. What a poetic ending to a great set of metronome battles. I love this. This is so much fun. Go watch Metromania for more metronome battles, please. Honestly, it's really good. So you've heard what I've got to say. You've seen these Pokemon on the battlefield. Now it's time for you to make a decision. Which of the Regis is your favorite? Is it Reggie Rock, Reg Ice, Reggie Steel, Reggie Gigas, Reggie Lecky, or Reggie Drago? Let me know in the comments and explain to everybody why your pick is the absolute best. So that'll do it for another episode of Form Fight. I hope you guys have enjoyed this little 10 part mini Form Fight series that we've had going on since Crown Tundra. We'll bring Form Fight back at some point when there's some new Pokemon forms. Hit like, share, and subscribe. Come over to Twitch and hang out in one of my live streams. Use code ACE for money off G Fuel. And until next time, I'm Ace Trinilium, keep on training.